What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon1197, and as always, I thank you guys for checking out my video. And it looks like I made a perfect timing for the purchase of my Silver Eagles. Just last night, I posted a video, uh, got that coupon, and bought just five more Silver Eagles, but I got them at the price of $20.19 a piece. Um, I hope you guys took advantage last night, because sometimes it's all about timing. And notice, I haven't talked about Silver in ages, because it just wasn't doing anything. And um, if you looked at the prices today, it's looking really good, and it's continually rising. Now, let's not get over dramatic about this. Remember, it's manipulated up and down, um, but this is a very decent move, especially in silver. You're looking at silver now over a dollar at this point, at a dollar three, at twenty dollars and ninety-five cents. So you're looking; it went from nineteen just a couple of days ago, almost to twenty-one dollars. We got platinum at 27 up. We got palladium, $16 up after it made a correction. Um, hopefully, people took my advice on the uh, palladium. I was talking about that, and I said it's not over. Even when we saw this correction, um, it's heading right back up. And gold is looking really good, too. It's now gone. Not only it was testing 1300 earlier this morning, it's now surpassed it up $43 at $1,320 right now. And a lot of it has to do with the fact of Janet Yellen um, and her dovish, dovish ways no surprise um, people are really starting to see what's going to be happening and a lot more people are getting into the precious metals um, again this is not something where tomorrow all of a sudden it's going to go up fifty dollars for silver and things like that so let's keep this in perspective but i've been talking about this for a while that from the information i've been getting from a whole bunch of different people they're really saying that before this year is over you're going to see prices in gold and silver that you haven't seen in a while, and maybe even past that. Now, obviously, there are no guarantees in life. They can easily just dump a bunch of uh, paper into the gold and silver market and have it come crashing down again. So this is not, you know... You don't want to go too high or too low. I learned that back in 2011. The idea is you buy on the dips and you just wait and see what happens. That's a beautiful thing about physical metals. You don't have to worry about them melting. They don't expire. Um, there's no investing to where you owe more money if there's a, a price fluctuation. You just take them, you sit on them, and hold them for insurance, uh, for you know safety purposes, almost like insurance. So um, we're seeing some really nice moves today. Um, and again, like I said, I haven't talked about this in a while, but I've picked up, I showed a video just about two weeks ago about some silver eagles that I purchased. And just last night, and it's actually funny because an hour after I purchased them, the price went up. Not major at that point, but there's a huge difference now. And I took advantage of that $20 coupon, so my Silver Eagles came out to $20.19 a piece and free shipping. You can't go wrong. So I'm going to leave this relatively short. So um, there's going to be some interesting times for gold and silver. And so many people say, oh, well, you know, the summer is always relatively bad. And that is very true, but anything can change at any moment. Once people, they lull you into this sleep of nothing ever new is going to happen, that's usually when something does happen. So pay attention. So um, if you look at the prediction I made earlier this year, I talked about the fact that silver would go down to probably about 17. It reached the $18 mark. So I was off a little bit, but I mean, not by much. It's not like it shot up to 50 or something or went down to two. So I was relatively close. And uh, my prediction still holds true that before this year is over, you're going to see prices we haven't seen in a long time. Could it surpass? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, like I said, the government can turn around, you know, they giveth, they can taketh away. So keep that in mind, guys. There are going to be fluctuations because it's based on the manipulation. It's just the more information we get out and the more people are become aware of this, the harder it is for them to play their game. So that's why knowledge is power. And that's why I ask people to like, share, or make your own videos. Get this information out. Because the more people that awaken, you know, it's it's like learning how to play a game. If you go to play Texas Hold'em with a bunch of professional players and you have no idea how to play, well, guess what? You're going to lose. But once you start learning how to play the game, it gets better and better. And then one day maybe you become a professional and you start winning. So it's all about protection. 
That's well. I mean, it's it's up to you why you get these things. I get my physical gold and silver for protection. I think of it as insurance because, as we could see, even just today, how the devaluation of the dollar is occurring, and when more and more countries are starting to take other forms of currency for oil instead of using the petrodollar, that loses confidence around the world, and we are famous for exporting our debt throughout the world. So once they all start saying we don't want it anymore, and they lose confidence in the dollar. Well, you know, the economic times, there may not be a full on collapse where everything becomes Mad Max. I've never said, because I'm not a doom and gloomer, I've never said that if there's some kind of economic collapse that that's going to be of that nature. But when you're talking about the collapse that I'm talking about, where prices can skyrocket when you're talking about imported goods from places like China and stuff, if they no longer accept our dollar, our, that's going to make our currency devalued against other world currencies, especially if they start backing them by gold, which if you have done any research, the Chinese won. They're looking really into getting something like that, a gold-based kind of currency, which would make it money again, which if they ever did that, all of a sudden I can guarantee you'll see on the news media, all of a sudden there'll be some kind of terrorist thing from China and they'll try and make some false flag event to give us a reason to go there and try and stop them. But considering all these nations like Russia and all these other countries are really starting to form a union together, uh, that's, that's a challenging task at best. So you do what you want with your own fiat currency. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to say what I want to do. And if that resonates with you and you agree, then uh, by all means, you do what you have to do. But be responsible. Make sure you do your own researches and just don't take the word of any particular person. Because the longer I've been doing this, the more I see how, how many people flip-flop, how many people use just nothing but straight emotion, how many people just take the word of other people, no matter what they say, they're always supposedly right. And that's not always the case. So, you know... You're responsible for what you do and don't do, so keep that in mind. And if others are going to get mad at you for what you chose to do, well, that just means their lives aren't important enough for them to worry about themselves, and they're too busy worrying about others. So if people hate you because you collect bitcoins, if people hate you because you collect gold and silver, if people hate you because you collect stocks or whatever, it's your choice. Just make sure you do the right thing for your family. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970, signing out. And don't forget, guys, if you are not part of my new channel over on Facebook, we would love for you to join. Just click on the search engine. Just type in Barnon11970. You could like the page, and you could leave all your comments. You could leave videos, articles, or even get information from people. It's a great new site that a lot of people have followed. It's got almost, I think, like 450 likes at this point. It's, it's about only a month old at best. So it's really growing and it's a great place. We'd love you to be there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.